This afternoon, I'd like to widen the platform for five element acupuncture. As TCM practitioners, we all learn about five elements, but um, it's lesser known that J.R. Worsley developed it into a whole system of diagnosis and treatment, whereby we still use the tongue and the, di and the pulse for diagnosis, but the tongue is much of a little importance actually in the diagnosis, and the pulses we analyze in a completely different way, and we use, choose points in a different way as well, which I hope will come out a little bit here. Today I'll be reiterating a, a little of what you already know because I want to build from the five element ca uh, characteristics to present five profiles to you so that we can see how these patients present in the practice. Um, and then concentrating, of course, on the lungs. So just quickly about my sources. Um, I studied with Worsley, and he's developed this whole system, and also with John and Angela Hicks, who you might have heard of, who've written quite a lot of books about five-element acupuncture now. And the scholars amongst you will, be, will know Claude Lare, who is a great sinologist, who I had the privilege to work with in Oxford. And I think as acupuncturists, it's really important that we receive treatment ourselves, not just for our health, but to um, receive a subjective feeling of this method, which is trans transmitted through the needle. And um, my great acupuncturist gave me information this way. As we know, in light of the modern, um, modern physics, the experimenter always has an effect on the experiment. And so the understanding of the practitioner will have an effect on the patient that she's treating. <clears throat> so this is a, a very familiar grid to all of us, but it's a bit flat. It's a bit two-dimensional. So how are we going to use this when we see our patients in the, in the practice? If we put it on a circle, it already begins to move a bit, like the five elements are actually moving phases. They're not, they're not static. And we'll come back to these profiles a bit later. Um, oh, too quick. <laughs> um, so I've developed certain um, profiles that give us more of an idea of how, how they, these patients present in the practice. And then I'll be talking more about the lungs. So let's look at two characters that we probably know, Paris Hilton and uh, Barack Obama. And what is it that they have in common? Nothing, you might think. But they are both lung people. They both represent two sides of the metal element, the superficial side and the depth side. As you, Paris, as you know, Paris Hilton is kind of an empty character, and she's always running around in the um, world of the famous to try and get recognition. Ah, sorry. Um, and and to get uh, recognition and self-worth, which is uh, two very important points for the uh, metal element, the lung person. And Barack Obama, who is, has much more depth, and um, notice the I'm OK lung meridian here. Um, and the, the superficial type is very cut off from reality and always trying to prove themselves, but not really uh, connected to their real self. And they're very, um, one thing we know about Paris Hilton, she can be very spiteful, she's very gifted with her, um, pet, with her words. They become like arrows and can be very hurtful because they're cut off from the feeling behind the words. On the other side, we can have somebody who's very charismatic, like Obama, who's concerned with uh, social issues and with, and with change. And, of course, he's come a long way as a black American um, to prove his self-worth. And what more recognition can you get than being an American president? You'd like to have that job anyway. He's really... Uh, concerned with fairness, and that's a key theme in, in the lung person. That it's very important for them that things are fair and that, so, that uh, society functions in a fair way. Uh, this is very different than the liver kind of fairness, who the liver person fights for justice, but for everybody. They're out on the street shouting for the minorities. Now, the, liver, the lung person is more concerned with 
creating laws and structure that society can function. Maybe it doesn't fit a few people, but you know, society functions and that's what's important to them.